Being in the RAF was very different to being an entrepreneur. Although I became very resilient, so it's actually really helped me with running this business. She may no longer be in the Royal Air Force, but Hannah is still determined to be a high flyer. I firmly believe we can be a household product, and I'm here to make a 10 to 20 million pound company. I'm not messing around. Hello, Dragons. I'm Hannah, founder of Toddle, and I'm here today asking for £60,000 for 5% in my company. My parents told me I would never amount to anything, so I left a tricky situation and I joined the armed forces. Whilst I was in the armed forces, I became really passionate about adventures and travel. And when I became a mother, I wanted to share these passions with my children. But I found that when we were out on our adventures, they get chapped lips or windburnt cheeks and there weren't the products on the market for the under threes. So I started making my own lip balm in my kitchen. What started in my kitchen is now a range of 13 SKUs. Our most pioneering products are our probiotic hand gel, our non-alcohol hand sanitizing spray and our dribble proof lip balm. We launched in March 2020 and since made £194,000. With forecast revenue this year of 670, now is a great time to invest because we're in a real growth period and we've only just got started on retail. It's an absolute privilege to be here today. Please try the products. A skincare range for adventurous kids is the proposition from Hannah Saunders, who's seeking £60,000 in return for a 5% share in her business. And the service person turned salesperson's pitch has left Peter Jones feeling well briefed. Hannah, very eloquent, very quick and very clear, and you can take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm intrigued to know, after you teed up the front end of your story, with your parents saying they didn't think you were, would amount to anything, has that opinion changed now? I have no idea. They, they haven't spoken to me in years. I'm really... I can't tell you. De I'm devastated to hear that on your behalf. Thank you. Yeah, it's, um, it's taken some therapy and some work, but I've got through the other side of it now. Yeah. So, just take it back. You said that you've made £194,000. Wow. What was that on turnover of what? Uh, so, that's turnover since March 2020. OK, so what's the profit on that? So, the gross profit on that is 87, and the net is minus 4.5. The way I'm looking at it at the moment is for, for year one, year two, it's not about profit, it's about growth. So I want to be a 10 to 20 million pound company instead of a one to two million pound company. I'm, I'm not doing this as a lifestyle business. I'm quite keen to spend the money now for serious growth. Of the almost 200,000 in sales you did last year, give me a bit of a breakdown and an overview of how that was achieved in terms of marketing and channels. In terms of channels, that's £83,000 on Amazon, about 60 on the website, and then the rest is made up from retail, so a real heavy lean towards Amazon there. I just want to say I'm incredibly impressed. Where does this drive come from in you? So I've sacrificed a lot to do this. My husband has been incredibly supportive. We've put money into the business. I've got two boys, three and six, and I'm doing it for them. And there's a small part of me that wants to prove my parents wrong. I think you should be incredibly, incredibly proud of yourself and, um, yeah, it's made me a little bit emotional, in fact, which is quite oh. rare, but no, I'm, because I'm so inspired by you, so, yeah, well done. Hannah's achievements to date have made a big impression on Stephen Bartlett. And Deborah Meaden appears similarly enamoured by the skincare entrepreneur. Can I first of all say, what I love about you is that you, you've got a lot of stuff right. You instinctively know what you should be doing. And, and what percentage is your offer? <laughs> well, sorry, yeah, I'm actually, yeah, no, 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 hold on a minute, hold on a minute. <laughs> no, so that's about you. And product-wise, what are its credentials? So our best seller yeah. is the probiotic hand gel. So it's got live bacteria in it, so it's covering your hands in good bacteria, so it's helping your immune system. Is there anybody else doing that? Oh, I've looked and looked and looked and looked and looked, and I can't see anyone else in the world doing it naturally. Parabens? No, nothing. Sulfates? No, par no parabens or sulfates. Palm oil? No palm oil, and 
if at any point we've used anything which traditionally wouldn't be sustainable, we are being sustainable. We've switched to the pouches because they're 52% less plastic, and we're also trying to move to a refillable model as much as we can, so we're trying to make eco-choices at every turn. My word, you are impressive. Oh, my gosh. You are, honestly, I, I feel a little bit in awe of you. What do you want help with? So we're soon to become a team of six, but I need to be a team of seven, and the money today would really help for Amazon growth, mm -hmm. especially Amazon USA, notwithstanding the experience and advice I could get from one of you guys, which would just be priceless. Hannah is yet to put a foot wrong, and her composed display has succeeded in turning most of the dragons into pussycats. So is she poised to add yet another member to her burgeoning fan club? Look, you've come in the den, you've got them all mesmerised. You're like the conductor now, controlling all the dragons. I... You've got a good business on Amazon, but if you were to go on a retail shelf, are you a, a healthcare product? Mm. Or, or are you a baby product? Yeah. How would it sit? You were giving me the exact same feedback I had about 18 months ago from a retail buyer who said, well, where do I put you? You're doing this, 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 which is why we've brought out more skincare. So the insect repellent, the bite and sting relief, the sun cream can all sit together and outdoor. For WH Smith's travel, we're sitting together as a line of six in baby skincare. We're doing 100 stores of clip strips, the lip balm, so it's a convenience product there to grab when you're just out shopping. You've got every answer. Well, I'm coming on Dragon's Den. I've got to have the answers. But at the moment, if... Hand sanitizers and hand gels don't really fit in with protective balm and it's all over the place. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's what concerns me. You know, I am in the baby world, it's no secret. We sell to every retailer in the country. We've got 54 distributors around the world. So if I sent these to my distributors, they'd say, how does this all fit in? And looking at this, if I got involved, I wouldn't know where to start. A retail savvy Tuka Suleiman has identified flaws in Hannah's strategy for expanding from clicks into bricks. Peter Jones lavished praise on the entrepreneur's initial pitch, but will he be equally effusive about the prospects for her business? I think you are superb, Hannah. Oh. But I still think that there's a journey to go on here. You're very focused in one segment of a segment of a market, i.e. your baby market with toddle. What that does subliminally to somebody's mind, if you don't have a toddler, you're not looking at it. So even though this product could be very good, it's very, very clear that it's, it's baby and baby only. Yeah. You know, 90% of your marketplace has, has dissipated. So I'm gonna say I'm not gonna invest and I'm out, but congratulations for what you've done and what you've accomplished. A blow for Hannah, who has lost her first dragon. And with Tuka Suleiman already having expressed reservations about her plans to conquer the high street, could things be about to go from bad to worse? I love your energy, I love your enthusiasm, and, and I think you'll be a very successful entrepreneur. But unless you are creating what I call a focus, in what the brand represents, your target market, and how you can identify those products that fit into that target market. You know, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just a bit puzzled, not from you, but the brand and the product. And for that reason, I'm not gonna invest them out. Hannah, I'm not puzzled, okay. and you know, life is short. We've got a lot of lip balm to sell, so I'm gonna get to the point. I am going to make you an offer. I'm going to make you an offer for the full 60K. But because I'm so excited, and I really think that I'm going to play a big role in this business because I'm going to love working with you every day, I'm going to do it for 20% of the business. OK. Yeah. Thanks so much. An offer for Hannah from Stephen Bartlett albeit at four times more equity than she was originally looking to give away. Will either of the two remaining dragons be prepared to match or even better it? 
I think you've been pretty faultless. You're very clear on what you're doing and where you're going, and I suspect you'd be really good to work with. So I'm going to make you an offer, and I'm going to offer you all of the money, and I want 15% of the business. Okay, thank you very much. You are so passionate, energetic, and driven, but then you've got all the right stuff to back it up. So I'd love to go on this journey with you. Oh, amazing. With you, and hold your hand, and uh, I'm gonna make it competitive, because I really wanna win this okay. one. Okay. So I will offer you all of the money, and for that, I would want 12% of the business. Okay. I don't want to sell myself too much, be too much of a peacock, but I actually think you've got a huge opportunity here to create a media content brand centred around this idea of for every adventure, and I know I can help you do that. And I know I'm the only dragon that can help you do that piece. I don't think any of us have used Stephen to build any of our business empires, so he's not the only person in the world who can do social marketing. <laughs> not what I said. What I mean is building a, a media brand around a product and company. I'm going to need to go and speak to the wall, yeah. It's decision time for Hannah. Her near flawless performance has left her with a choice of three dragons. Stephen Bartlett, who is offering £60,000 in return for a 20% share of her business. I just love her. Never seen someone so well-rounded before in my life. Deborah Meaden, who wants 15% and Sarah Davies, who wants 12%. Sarah, it's yours. I can feel it. This is so difficult. Um, first of all, it's an absolute dream come true to be here and to hear all of you say such wonderful things about my company. But would any of you consider revising your offers? What did you have in mind? 10. Could you get to 15? I mean, I've got a better offer than that. So I'm just genuinely stood here wondering what to do. You said you're, you're going to do 670 this year mm. in revenue. Would you be willing to say 13%? And if we do 670 this year, then I'll drop down to 10%. OK. That's very interesting. I would also be willing to share, because I know there's a certain dragon to my right that can add a really critical piece. Which one did you mean? Deborah. OK. OK. Yeah, I, I would be happy to share. What are you thinking? From my perspective, I would say unconditionally, I'd just give you the 10% from the off. I really like you, but I am going to go with Deborah and Stephen. And thank you so much for your offer. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Well thank done. You. Honestly, yeah. chat. Thank oh, you so much. Oh my God. Well done. Good luck. Thank you so Great much. See you guys soon. See you thank soon. You. Bye. See you soon. Success for Hannah, who leaves the den with the sixty thousand pounds she was originally seeking, having well and truly won over her two new dragon backers. When I can't find a fault in an entrepreneur. I have no choice but to invest. And I literally couldn't find a fault. Yeah. All I did was prepare as thoroughly as I could for the day. I really wasn't preempting any kind of reaction from them. I thought that was the best thing to do. And so to hear their kind words and to say how well I was doing is just a dream come true.